Breaking news. If it bleeds, it leads. In your news today... You are now tuned in to Dirty Laundry Media. Stand by. What's going on, Dirty Laundry family? This is your boy, Bill Money, back in the building. And what I'm doing right now, I just want to highlight what was going on back in 2018 um, when the Democrats were all up in arms uh, regarding uh, potential vote switching by Dominion voting machines, um, regarding the midterm elections in 2018, and also um, prior to the 2020 elections. And um, I'm going to show a video clip of several Democrats um, decrying um, the lack of uh, security as it relates to uh, the Dominion voting machines. And but quickly, um, just want to highlight an article. And this was uh, in 2019, uh, four congressional Democrats sent a letter to the owners of Dominion voting systems and cited several problems that threatened the integrity of our elections, including vote switching. In, de in a December 2019 letter to Dominion Voting Systems, which has been mired in controversy after a human error involving its machines in Antrim County, Michigan, resulted in incorrect counts, Democratic Senators Elizabeth Warren, Ron Wyden, Amy Klobuchar, and Congressman Mark Pocan warned about reports of machines switching votes, undisclosed vulnerabilities, and improbable results that threaten the integrity of our elections. Goes on, in 2018 alone, voters in South Carolina were reporting machines that switched their votes after they'd inputted them. Scanners were rejecting paper ballots in Missouri and busted machines were causing long lines in Indiana. In addition, researchers recently uncovered previously undisclosed vulnerabilities in nearly three dozen back-end uh, back election systems in 10 states. And just this year, after the Democratic candidate's electronic tally showed he received 164 votes out of 55,000 cast in the Pennsylvania state judicial election in 2019, the county's Republican chairwoman said, Nothing went right on election day. Everything went wrong. That's a problem. Um, so yeah, just a quick uh, reference point um, that prior to um, the 2020 elections, um, the Democrats um, were very, very skeptical and uh, distrustful of the Dominion voting machines. Um, but after the election, when things went their way, um, they quickly changed their tune. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the video. You know, let me know what you think down in the comment section and um, go ahead and smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And this is your man, Bill Money for Dirty Laundry Media, signing off. And I'll see you on the other side. I continue to think that our voting machines are too vulnerable. Her research has repeatedly de demonstrated that ballot recording machines and other voting systems are susceptible to tempering. Even hackers with limited prior knowledge, tools, and resources are able to breach voting machines in a matter of minutes. In 2018, electronic voting machines in Georgia and Texas deleted votes for certain candidates or switched votes from one candidate to another. The biggest seller of voting machines is doing something that violates Cybersecurity 101, directing that you install remote access software, which would make a machine like that, you know, a magnet for fraudsters and hackers. These voting machines can be hacked quite easily. You could easily hack into them. It makes it seem like all these states are doing different things, but in fact, three companies are controlling this. It is the individual voting machines that some pose, that pose some of the greatest risk. There are a lot of states that are dealing with antiquated machines right, which are vulnerable to being hacked. Workers were able to easily hack into an electronic voting machine. It was possible to switch votes. Forty-three percent of American voters use voting machines that researchers have found have serious security flaws, including back doors. We know how vulnerable now our systems were. We know, I know that hackathon that took place last year where virtually every machine was broken into fairly quickly. I actually held a demonstration for my colleagues 
here at the Capitol, um, where we brought in um, folks who, before our eyes, hacked election machines. Um, those that are not, those that are being used in many states. Aging systems also frequently rely on unsupported software, like Windows XP in 2000, which may not receive regular security patches and are thus more vulnerable to the latest methods of cyber attack. In a close presidential election, they just need to hack one swing state, or maybe one or two, or maybe just a few counties in one swing state. I'm very concerned that you could have a hack that finally went through.